Really? Are you? I can't see the light. All right, well, it's a beautiful day, so we're gonna go inside and work on whole room water cooling. But first, it's time for a haul video. Yeah, baby. Haul time. So here it is, so much fun stuff. Ah, this is from my trip to Home Depot. Actually, the vast majority of this stuff has nothing to do with whole room water cooling. Um, some of it is for the hard pipe, uh, hard pipe build that's upcoming. Some of it is just general supplies. In fact, the only thing for whole room is actually this uh, uh, ABS cement. So we need that. And yeah, the rest of that can go aside for now. Then, oh, this is our new lav, by the way. I actually complained about our lav breaking on a previous, uh, previous whole room water cooling. So Rode watched that and they're like, hey, we have a new lab coming, you should try it. So it's modular, so you can actually take apart all the pieces if it breaks, which is kind of cool. All right, what else we got here? All right, these are some pleats. Pleats only, these are for the mechanical filter. These are some UV sterilizer tubes. What's a pleat? A pleat is, um, I think that's a bleep. You know what's a bleep? Okay. <laughs> uh, then we've got our Lifeguard mechanical filter. So this is from Lifeguard Aquatics. It's for ponds, but uh, I talked to them about it and they basically asked me, what's your flow rate? What's your overall volume of water, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And we agreed that the best way to keep junk out of the system and remove the junk that's in there is one of these bad boys. And the best way to keep anything from growing in the future is one of these bad boys. So I'm gonna be putting these two, uh, the sterilizer and the filter in series in our loop. Then, I apparently didn't learn my lesson the first time. Also, I couldn't really find a particularly better option. Is that a new reservoir? It is exactly the same reservoir that we bought last time again. But this time it was on sale. Maybe for a reason. Your unboxing skills are rusty. Just like our last reservoir. Beep, 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 beep. All right, let's open this bad boy up. The first step is to put these guys together. Excuse me. We're all about the maturity here. It's really, it doesn't, it doesn't look that big on here. Well, I guess the size of the box would have been an indicator. Oh, look, it's an open-ended glass tube. I know what these are for. Small mammals, right? That, okay. Well, I don't think I was supposed to take this off yet. Oh, we're ruining it already. There's an O-ring. I don't know where it goes. <laughs> I got this. Cheers. Oh. oh, maybe it goes here. No. Oh, it's a compression fitting, so I should probably use it as one. Wait, what? I think this is supposed to go through here. open end of quart sleeve until entire gasket is about one quarter inch of your seal. Oh, I see. Coupling onto cap. Yeah, lightsaber is looking a bit short there. Carefully insert quart sleeve into bottom receptacle inside <laughs> the center housing. Grow up, Ed. <laughs> All right, hey, this is going, oh crap. Sorry, I didn't have it positioned just right there. Carefully match pins of this to this. Match in what way? Oh, God. Oh, no, it's okay. I can't even. Oh, 
There it is. Well, that was easy. I just pushed harder. I think the cord goes in there. Oh, oh, I see why they want me to use lube. Okay. So that's a pleat. You know, the number of people who offered me soldering lessons after my last video. You know what the funny thing about that is, is most people were telling me to do it the way that I normally do it. But I specifically looked up a video on the internet for how to solder to make sure that I like kind of did it the way that you're supposed to so that I wouldn't get a bunch of people giving me soldering lessons. All right. I am feeling good about having filters and uh, live things killers on my system here. So the mechanical filter is first, which means this goes into, so the out goes into the in with this glue I bought. It's just if this one gives me a refreshing spritz off at the end, it's gonna be probably like super poisonous. <laughs> Spritzers! How am I gonna get this open? Holy crap! I think you glued the cap on. This is not a prank. Yeah, sure. we, we legitimately need it open. I feel way less bad about not being able to do this now. So, brains versus brawn here. Maybe if we actually use a tool, open, oh, well, so much for that. Yeah. So after all that, Terran opened it. That's right, Terran the weakling. Wait, but whose idea was that? I was actually, no, I was gonna do it. Whose idea was that? I couldn't that? find them, <laughs> but I was gonna do it. It's actually your idea. I did fetch them. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, I'm sure that no matter how I apply this, uh, the internet will find me to be wrong and stupid, so I'm just gonna wing it. Okay, so we'll do some here. I mean, I've been outed as not a handyman. And oh, the shame! Oh, it was a shame! Thought of changing my name! But what, what's in a name? And I got downhearted! Every time that I... Bumba, not in front of the kids. You can probably pull a fart sound effect from one of the other <laughs> ones from today. That's what Taryn wanted to use to open the glue. Did he really? Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, brains over brawn my ass. <laughs> my friends, you will actually know less about water cooling an entire room simply by watching this video than you did before you started. It could be that you have so much knowledge in this one video that it's just pushing out all the old information. Out of their heads. That was what I meant. <laughs> uh, we're not sure yet. We're just sniffing glue right now. Yeah. Oh, cool. We're high on fumes. Sweet. Our filter assembly is complete. So I never actually gave an explanation of what all of this is supposed to do. So this right here is going to filter all of the physical debris. So any of the the dead bodies of the junk that we have growing in there now, or or did because I gave the entire loop a blast of iodine, concentrated iodine liquid uh, a little while ago that should have pretty much nuked whatever's in there. So this is going to, as all that stuff gradually makes its way out of the blocks and everywhere else that it's stuck, this is gonna filter that crap out. Then we have replacement pleats for when this inevitably gets gummed up and I need to put new ones in there. Once it's running and everything's clear, I should rarely if ever have to replace these pleats. This guy right here is gonna keep anything else from ever growing again. So as the liquid comes through the system, this has a UV lamp inside that is going to sterilize all the water that passes through it. So this is my one-two punch that is going to keep the loop clear now that, or well, once it is clear again. Well, we'll clean it and then clear it. Keep it clear. One-two punch. Doesn't seem like the pleat would do everything though. All right, so I'm back. Um, 20 bucks later, I have activated filter carbon, which I don't know, there were like a bazillion different kinds of carbon and carbon mixtures and find out what's up with this. Whoa, okay, it came out real fast. So that's carbon. Linus Media Group, they don't know what funnels are. You know what? Let's get everyone disconnected from the whole room loop and then we'll get in there. Can yeah. Come here and turn this off. Ah, uh, which off? The computer. Uh, oh, shit. I'm leaving. Okay, good. just a sec, just a sec. Can you move and I'll do it? Boop. 
Sorry, I had to film. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Hold on. Okay. Uh, I need the bucket in the bathroom. Can you get like paper towels or something? Okay, we're on it. No idea. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's <laughs> see. Oh, it's an O-ring. So I was trying to take off the quick release. Oh, it just got me in the eye. System. Iodine and is good for your eyes, right? Stuck. Everywhere. It's actually quite horrible for your eyes, isn't it? Probably. <sighs> okay. Um, okay, we need to get all the other systems off the whole room loop. Oh, because it's going to be draining. Because it's going to be draining. So it's just mine and Brandon's and Taryn's left, which is more than half of them. I'll just hold this. Yeah, I'm going to need more paper towel. Than I have this whole thing of paper towel. Oh, God. 30 hits and... It hits the fan. I, I don't, why isn't this uh, sealed? Why isn't it? O-ring failed. Oh, ring. Well, we're gonna have to replace this uh, fluid, though, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll have to replace the fluid. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he should save his one. Just okay, mine's already here. I did, here. and I filmed it. <laughs> That's okay, guys, we got this. I'm terrified of, whoa, it stopped. What? It stopped. It stopped? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Well, I'm sorry, but it, it did. I'm just reporting what's happening. It's no longer leaking. It was leaking, uh... Problem solved! Pretty good there. No. What, what do you think happened? Because the O-ring popped out here. I didn't do anything. I just held it. Ugh. Oh. Whoever assembled these fittings compressed the O-ring. It's a miracle this didn't leak before. Oh. <laughs> So who assembled it? Ed? Who do we mer oh. Not just me, other people as well. No, I think uh, you did all of the actual, no, because it's not no, here. Gotta... It's here. I also got David to help. All right. Oh sure, blame After the guy who isn't failed. here. Yes. And can't Very defend convenient. himself. <laughs> okay. It could be either of us. Uh, either. I mean, technically speaking, neither of us have had any experience with any I of thought us. we were done with this whole project. You guys are still fiddling with it. It's because it's not done yet. Aaron. Yeah, I, I got that. Your system can turn back on now. Okay, well, I turned it off at the power supply because <laughs> that's all I could do. <laughs> well, it was important for me to film what was happening. All right, so the carpet's wet. My sock is wondering. wet as well. Wet socks are the worst. Corsair H80i GT and H100i GTX all-in-one liquid coolers make your CPU run cooler and they make your computer look better too. And you don't have to deal with all of this. So for the last month or so, we've been flushing the system uh, periodically, putting fresh, well, with the shower head on, putting fresh water into it. Um, what I've observed since then is that while before, with our reservoir in, our tubing ended up looking like this, in the last four weeks, and this happened quite quickly, in the last four weeks, the new tubing we've added has stayed completely clear, which means it looks like whatever was living in our system is no longer being dispersed throughout it. So that's a really good sign. So what we're going to do then is we're going to power down the whole thing, drain the whole thing, because we've got all of the systems running independently now. Then what we're going to do is we are going to put our inline filter in. We are going to give it another blast of iodine. And we're going to put our reservoir back. And then I think we're good to go. I think that's it. We're actually done. Unless something else breaks. Unless something else breaks. Thank you. All the systems are good. Everything is going. Now is the time to introduce our sterilizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this bad boy in. UV sterilizer. So you can see the light is on, which is probably good. To take care of all the microbes that I was not aware of before, that apparently 
live in ethylene glycol. So this is just our corrosion inhibitor this time around. This time, I don't think that it's a biocide, because it's not. Apparently I'm an idiot. Thanks, Taryn. Helpful. Let's, uh, let's finish topping her up, now that it's bled. Yep. Okay, I'm coming back up. Wait, oh. didn't you not... wait, wait you, we, we need two more seconds of water. <laughs> oh God, I hooked it up in reverse again. This is cold, and this goes through the top, which is right, okay, it's fine. 